Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will start to create this kind of nice curtain wall panels with Dynama. We will create some adaptive family and some special script for this uh, the panels by Dynama. In the end you will able to download this kind of panels and this Dynama script. So if you are ready, let's get started. So let's create the new messing form. We should go to the families, new, and here you will find the conceptual messing form. Let's open up and there you will find the templates, the metric maths. Let's open up. Here is our metric, uh, here is our messing uh, form uh, template, and just here you should draw the line. Let's draw the line. I will switch off the my 3D snapping. And I will draw maybe like 15 meters, why not? 15 meters, here is my line, select your line and just create the form. And as you can see, this is uh, exploding to the, uh, extruding to the, uh, to the up and maybe it will be like 10 meters, 15 by 10 meters. Doesn't matter which one, so I just no wanna make it totally huge and I no wanna make it too small. Select this surface and create divide this surface. As you can see now we divided our mm, surface by panels and I wanna just increase my uh, number of the panels, maybe 40 by 40, it will be pretty enough I think, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty enough, as you can see we get small panels and now it can be interesting in our design. Now we need to create these panels. For that one you should go to the family, a new one, here you will find the family. And we need to use the curtain panel pattern base. This is really important, you should use only the pattern base for this type of the surface. Let's say OK. We will open the new window as you can see and here is the default view what you will get. We need now place some points. Go to the reference, this is important, reference, point and after that set. Set the working plane and set your first working plane and place the dot. After that you just should continue to do the same thing. You should set working plane, place the dot. Just make sure this is a reference. Set working plane dot. Set working plane dot. Now select everything, go to the filter and unswitch everything till the reference point because we placed the reference point and I want to select on the reference point. Let's say OK and now we selected the reference point. Let's change the offset to the 500 millimeter let's say and as you can see point changing distance. Don't uh, don't unswitch, uh, uh, unselect uh, these points. As you can see it's still selected. Go to this small button, associate family parameter, and create the new parameter. The new parameter will be offset. Okay, awesome. Don't forget to make this parameter instance, because each the panel will change the height independently. Instance, okay, okay, done. The next thing, and this also the important, go to the reference, go to the line, and make sure its 3D snapping is on. And now snap one point to the another. If you're doing everything right, your line will be green. And if you do again everything right, you will snap to the point, like me, like I'm doing right now. Okay, I did everything. Let me, I will check is it working or no. I will go to the create, I will go to the family type, always check is it working or no. And after that select the offset distance and say this is 650 millimeter. Okay. And as you can see, it's changed the uh, distance, so everything is working. Select base profile and select the new profile which we did just now. Select it. As you can see, I selected both profiles and just click on the bottom create the for uh, form. Create and here is our form. If you did everything right, you will see this, this kind of, uh, this kind of, uh, oh my god, where is that? Uh, you will see this kind of uh, bottom still here, so it's not gone anywhere anywhere. It's still here So it means if you will change for example distance the form will also the change distance So now everything all right now we can load it inside to the project. Let's use the load in the project and close uh, mm, Yes, we can save this family if you want. I will save it somewhere here Let's load it inside of the project and now it's already here now only one thing you need to do Select your profile, uh, I mean the wall, go to the properties here, as you can see, no pattern, and we will choose our new pattern. It's here, rectangular and family 6. 
let's select it it will take time because we have a lot of different panels and here is our panels why it's on the same size because offset of the each panel the same now we need dynamo so let's switch to the dynamo this is doesn't matter which dynamo you have you maybe you have dynamo 1.9 maybe you have 2.1 it doesn't matter just go to the manage find here dynamo dynamo not dynamo player dynamo and this is will be open up and we will create the new one from the scratch i mean the script so no worries about that it will take sometimes it takes time like like me right now so let me i will make the full screen mode and let's go to the new one first what we need we need catch up our family right click on the our working plane and right here the family type family family types and here we should select our own family so the our own family this is family six if you remember let's select it now we already catched our families but we need catch them all so as you understand all element by type as you can see because we get here the type and we get need uh, have the input type too let's select it and as you can see output family type input element type this is wrong it should be family type let me i will find again uh, family family types but we need all family type sorry family all family types uh, sometimes it's better to find here type uh, pop, 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 family type selection and all select uh -huh, element of type mm -hmm. and as you can see here is difference family type element type we need family type let's delete this one now let's connect family type to the family type and what we can see here inside 1600 panels so this is our panels right now we did it now what we need we need the parameter let's find the parameter we need parameter parameter dot parameter ah wait wait ah mm, parameter by name by name so parameter set bar, uh, parameter by name this is what we need let's select it and we get this one so what we're gonna do we gonna connect now our element to the element okay everything fine what the next we should do we need find now the parameter name what it is here the parameter name so the two elements we find so fast and now element we should connect to the element so what we're gonna do you will see right now we need to get the parameter offset right click use this thing and write off set because if you remember our main parameter the offset oh double left click that uh, quotes and all set okay let's connect it to the element and you will see it you will see now all the panels parameter offset 650 if you remember i did 650 and now we can see which the parameter and value we have so this is awesome we can continue uh, next thing we need get this name parameter from that that block uh, i will use the parameter name uh, just name parameter no, sometimes it's really hard parameter name okay it's here let's connect to this one and what you will see offset pretty awesome so we can continue with that uh, why i'm doing that because we just can connect offset to the to the parameter name but not we want to make it more flexible now i need the list count list count list count where is that okay i will use dot and count and it's here list count let's connect this one to the list count and what you will see you will see the number 1600 so we just calculating how many the offsets we have so pretty awesome now we will create the code block one double dot 1000 double dot hashtag and x x will be our count 
let's connect our account here and what we get as you can see difference numbers difference offsets so this is parameter will go inside to the volume but we not will cut just it connected uh, straight away to the value no what we will do uh, first of course we need uh, connect our name string to the to the name where is that uh, where is that string uh -huh, it's here connect to the name and now we need to shuffle all this parameter because as you can see it's uh, sorted by from the low to the high we need shuffle it let's find the list list dot shuffle it's here let's connect our list to the shuffle and what you will see here inside as you can see now it's not sorted now it's how uh, it's a cow it's so chaotic as you can see and let's connect our list to the value it will take now time because uh, Revit now getting this data and uh, pushing our panels uh, um, to the extruding to the back and uh, the, to the front so it's done let's see let's i will uh, i will hide dynamo now where is the my and as you can see here is the result as you can see you get the panels let me i will change the view to the hidden line and maybe you can just export it now to the project if you want to get some shadows to place it in some way you want so as you can see the our panels now it's differently and this is really chaotic uh, as we did in our Dynamo script. So let me show it Dynamo script. It will take time sometimes because we have like 1,600 panels. This small piece of the geometry and 1,600 ge panels. It's really totally huge number. Anyway, by this way you can create it more interesting. Don't put it like on the uh, one kilometer. It's impossible. I think your PC not will uh, possible to create it. Anyway, if you want to do something like that, you can use Dynamo. So, Dynamo script you will find below the video. There's also the um, this panel you also will find below the video. Download it. It'll check how it's working, use it in your own project and try to use in different parameters, not only for offset, create your own parameters and use that. So thank you guys uh, for watching and see you next time.